Hey, what's up, Bookers Gang? Hope you're doing good. If you're new, it's your boy Brian Booker, and this is another new video. If you haven't subscribed, this is the time. And guys, Kama Kawaida, we have our one and only chief guests. <laughs> Hi, fans. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. So today we have another juicy, juicy video with some hot questions here that I want to ask uh, my one and only mom. And I hope she'll be very honest with us. Will you be honest? Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm honest. <laughs> You're always honest. Yes, I'm mm. honest. So if you bring a, what do you call it? What? Honest meter. Truth meter. It's called truth meter. Honest meter. Honest meter. It's only a good email. But it's okay, guys. So thank you so much for joining us today. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, man. Less than three, less than 300 people left. It could be you watching right now. So just take a minute, subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to this channel. That's the, that's the one of the ways you can support this channel by sharing, subscribing, commenting, and liking, and also press the notification bell so that you'll be the first person to be notified whenever we post some juicy video like this. So let's go. On to the first question. Mamushka, are you ready? Oh, yeah. You are born ready? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> On to the first question. One, do you think that true love exists? Yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Yes and Two no. Two extremes. Yes. It depends <laughs> on where you are sitting, where you are coming from, mm. your position. One person will say this is true love, mm -hmm. the other one will say no, this love. is not love. This is not love. Because of late, love should be redefined in the dictionary. Mm. Because people have misused it. I'm misused it. <laughs> but love does not tire, love is never busy. Yeah. Yes. Love has time for the loved mm. one. Mm. So those that is where you know there's true love. Love with surprises, sweet surprises. Mm. But there are some love that have some issues around so the thing. Can you look at those characteristics to see whether this is true love mm. or not? Yeah, so you've mm. said the uh, love you you mm. must create time. Love is never busy. Yeah. Herok date. Yeah. And love is, is never tired. Yeah. And love is about sweet surprises. Mm. There's no negative thing. And love is in forgiveness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if you can't get those characteristics, you know there's no love. It's, it's not it's just by action, not words. By action, not words. I love you, I love you. No. <laughs> Can you see that love? Because love ah, should be felt. See. Love is not seen. So it doesn't matter whether mm -hmm. I'm saying this, whether I'm climbing yeah. a mountain or... Mm -hmm. But love must be felt. The action. Whoever is loved must yeah. feel. You must then feel it. Say that's love. that's real love. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, you're saying this, uh, yeah, you believe true love exists yeah, exactly, yeah. depending depending on, on your position, where you sit, yeah. where you are acting from. Okay, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also believe true love exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, uh, like you've said, you, you, you will experience it. Exactly. You will feel it. You, you will feel it. Know that these people, they care about you. Mm -hmm. They are getting time for you. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know they love you. So, exactly. yeah. They Not just saying. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Not just saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Action. Anyway, the next question, ma'am. How can you tell if a girl is joining because some pretend mm -hmm. in terms of um, their intentions of settling down and stuff? How can you tell that hey, this girl she really wants to settle or she has some intentions or she genuine or what do you, what so, do you think about that? Genuine leather. Mm, genuine leather. Genuine leather. <laughs> what makes somebody be genuine is it just from the answer from the first question. Yeah. What are her reactions? In fact, this one goes to both sides. Yeah. How do you feel? about this person mm. if there's any shred of doubt yeah can you find out that shred of doubt first yeah. before you sure. settle mm. but it should go with what i said love is mm. those characteristics should be taken in mind yeah yes selflessness 
for, for give, you must forgive too. And uh, you said that you must forgive and, f- and, and move on. And move on. You don't revisit what you discussed happened, like, earlier. You, know, you can be having an issue and then somebody just starts saying Keeps that. On, if there's hmm, an issue, last week. No wonder. Yes, no that's wonder why. That now, <laughs> last year. Mm, mm, know that there you have a problem. <laughs> there's an issue. Yes. Phoebe, mm. point of objection. No, I'm guilty of the repetition. Oh, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> guilty of repetition. Yes. So you must forgive and move on. And forgive and move on. Ah, then that's difficult, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's possible. Mm-hmm. It's possible. I think if you truly want, you are you are intentional with these people, mm-hmm. and uh, I think you can be able to do that. Yeah, if if you have an intention before you put it into practice, yeah. can you look at the lady or the gentleman and see mm. how much can you forgive? Yeah. Because if you cannot forgive ten times, tenfold, or <laughs> then that don't settle down. <laughs> don't settle down. Yes, and love also needs tolerance. Yeah, true, true. Yes, mm-hmm. you tolerate each other. You mm-hmm. those things that I mentioned. You need to understand, you understand each other. Each other. Yeah. So then now you settle. But if you see something little, you keep on uh, crossing or anything little. Mm-hmm. If anything little comes up, yeah. As a small issue it becomes prying into somebody's life. Yeah, following you somebody. Are still, you are still friends and you are prying. Mm. Where did you go to? Whom did you meet? I had, I had. You you listen to outsiders than your lover. Then <laughs> if you settle, you are in a your big love problem. is on fire. It's already on fire before <laughs> it is before it is there. It is already spoiled. It's already spoiled. Oh, mm. That's that's interesting, guys. Hope you are taking notes. Mm. Just if your book is full, you can take a new one. <laughs> Anyway, so there's another interesting question here that we have, which is saying that um, people always say that don't date for too long. Mm-hmm. Do you think or believe that settling or marrying someone can help keep a relationship stronger? Because people always tell you, don't date for too long. Like even my, mm-hmm. my one and only mm-hmm. papa was saying, hey, why are you dating for too long? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The major fear in dating for too long is yeah. you might lose a loved one. Mm. Because um, the, everybody has her or his little secret. Mm. So maybe the lover is looking forward to settling and you are not mentioning yeah. settlement. Yeah. <laughs> then he's saying, then I'm in the wrong hands. <laughs> so whoever will come with the settlement we'll, will we'll take, take her away. away. While you are very seriously waiting for this girl, it's only that you are waiting for a right opportunity. Right. So as you wait for that opportunity, mm. can you keep on letting her know that you want that to settle you, with her? You are interested in settling so down. Though I'm waiting for a right opportunity. <laughs> you, you must really convince her that right opportunity. Uh, yes? Yeah. Otherwise, somebody will come mm. and she wants to settle down. If someone is ready to settle down. To settle her down. Mm. Then you lose her. So you should write, you should have the memo. Yeah, yeah you should. <laughs> Yes. Do and, and why should you date for so long? What is dating for? Dating is just to help you get to know each other yeah. well. Mm. So if you dated for long, maybe maybe you're thinking that uh, mm. uh, if I bring this girl mm. uh, to maybe my house or something, mm. they'll suffer because maybe mm. uh, at that moment financially you are like. And, and I told you, love is selfless. Average. I told you that love is selfless. Mm. Selflessness is tolerating the situation you are in. Mm. If you are in love, you only care about the person. The oh. situations, the rest don't matter. Then that is now a right person. Mm-hmm. Who would go with you if you are sleeping in the bush? <laughs> she or he will go with you there. If you get a good house. Yeah. But, but do you think uh, that's even possible in this generation of that fear? This first life that everybody is chasing the first life and everything. It's, it's rare, but there are still it's people possible. who. Yeah, it's rare, but yeah. still you can get people who are still yeah, interested in the person. Yeah. They don't care what situation the person is. Oh, nice. So it is that interest, yeah. that selfless, that tolerance. So you should look at that. Yes. Yeah. So if you propose now that I'm the way you know me, mm-hmm. dated for long, is that, and I feel we should settle. Let, let you people discuss about it. Don't assume. Maybe she doesn't mind. <laughs> yes, maybe she doesn't mind. And if she minds, you talk about it, say it for me. Yeah. Because you never know when you'll have what you're looking for. True. 
Yes. Never know. And then there's one interesting thing that you said mm. that uh, maybe the person you are marrying mm. could be the source of your lack or something. Yes. Or she yes. could be the gateway to all your something happiness. good happening. Yeah. Or, yeah. You never know. She could so even be your you accountability only, partner. You can only know by <laughs> trying. What? Yeah. Trying with marriage. It's not trying. You you are you serious. Are, you want to settle. But you are, you are you want to see where you, you want to see if she's ready. You say okay, you'll be eating whatever little we are in. We stay in this condition as you. Mm-hmm. Then in less than one year, doors open. Then now, the scent of your happiness starts. Starts. Oh, that's nice. That's amazing. Anyway, so let's move on to the next question, which is a uh, very uh, a good one. Mm-hmm. So, how do you know that um, a person, uh, either a man or a woman, is a wife or husband material? Material is easily. I'm not material. Material is easily. Yeah, you are. Is this is genuine or is it suit or it is polyester? I remember Bandi kwa tu made in Turkey. Made in Finland. Kuwe mtegi sawa apa kibera au kibera road those characteristics or how can you tell like I think this person can make a good, a good person a wife or a husband. Good wife husband. Mm. You still go back to question one. The, the level of tolerance, you know, when you are dating, you see yeah. how she reacts or mm-hmm. he reacts to issues. Mm-hmm. There are some people whom, if you are even in a, in a, a hotel, you are out for a date, <laughs> any lady that passes by or any man that passes by, you mm-hmm. want to fight. Mm-hmm. Then what type of life are you going to lead? Because mm-hmm. you can't live in isolation. Mm-hmm. So it still goes to all those things. Oh, you tolerance, must learn. selflessness, yeah. you see, how does she accept situations when you are very low mm-hmm. because those are the situations that make you know how mm-hmm. somebody will stay how does she react to those situations and for how long yeah the situation low moments your lowest moments how is she reacting to them he or she reacting to those mm-hmm. lowest moments because everybody has a lower moment uh, you go back to the the first question and mm-hmm. uh, analyze them through that like mm-hmm. are they yes. forgiving are they, are they forgiving are they tolerant yeah. are they how, your lowest moment. Yeah. Where do they react? How, how to do that? they react to your lowest moment? Mm. How do they listen to outsiders? Mm. The third party. How do they listen to the third party? Yeah. How do they and, and, and when third parties talk to them, how mm. do they react? Mm. Because remember, this is a lifetime relationship. Nobody goes into a marriage to divorce later. <laughs> then the intention is different. <laughs> Everybody goes to stay forever. But I, I think yes. you know, nowadays that mentality of divorce is mm. so much into people. Mm. I mean, personally, what I'm thinking is that's why not so many marriages are working at this moment. Mm-hmm. People are just like, ah, after all, we can just divorce. You know, you are, you are not wa- mm-hmm. one feet inside, feet one, feet, one outside. feet outside. Yes, yeah. that's why we are looking at how do, does he or she behave in the lowest moment? Mm. How does he react to? Third party mm. information. Yeah. Those who just come on you are. I saw. Nani, Ole, I saw Nani. Yeah. He was, she was. How mm. does he or she react to those information? Mm. So selflessness. How you know how Anajitolea Kiazigani Kiwango. She's ready to no? we are the both of you are ready to sacrifice how for each other. How does she welcome you? He or she welcome your friends. Yeah. Because you're not live in isolation. You get a lady or a husband who does not want. Yeah. You must shed off all your friends and remain with her or mm. him alone. Mm. Are you able to take that? Yes. And for how long? Is it sustainable? Yeah. Your relatives. You don't have a fallback when yeah. something happens. Your relatives are not needed next to you. Mm. They can't visit. You don't talk about them. You don't visit them. <laughs> So, you know? It's like you're a solo, solo, yeah, solo. Exactly. Is it okay with you? So, and what do you think about uh, this notion that, uh, that I'm just dating them, they'll change? Do you think it's possible? People don't just change like that. <laughs> there are traits that are in for Kuna <laughs> Utu. Uh. There are traits that are inborn that cannot be changed. 
That one has defeated even the saved ones. Even if you go to the saved, Mount Kenya and pray. The blood of Jesus has refused to cleanse, cleanse them. <laughs> that root of theirs. Uh, so I wouldn't advise somebody to go into it expecting a change. <laughs> because you don't have the capacity to change, change somebody. somebody yeah, yes. To uh, control what they, are, mm-hmm, they can do mm-hmm, or not. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So on to our last question. Um, do you believe in the the man providing and the woman being a housewife or is it better for both to provide uh, yeah. what are what you take on somebody just becoming a housewife and personally mm. I believe that if the man wants to be the head of the house mm. does not mean he has money mm. it's on, not only money but the respect and command how he takes care of his people yeah, true. Because as we had said earlier, you never know where luck is. True. You might settle down today, and then it's your wife who gets a better true. job. True. Then you have a lower job. Mm-hmm. That's why I said level of tolerance, forgiveness. You see, how do you take care of your partner during his or her lowest well, moments? Mm-hmm. So, akiwa na pesa mingi saizo na wea wuna. How does she handle you? And are you also giving her? Respect that, okay. I appreciate you have yeah. this, or kill us out with hey, because of your money, because of your money, you know, you keep on rubbing to her face, yeah, she'll get tired, yeah. But, yeah. uh, but there's a feeling, there's a, some type of feeling mm. that when, for example, uh, your, money, your wife yeah. is providing for you, mm. it's just feel something, some type of way, you know, and that's what makes people react like. Uh, yeah, it's because of your money. Mm-hmm. You know, even when she brings a small issue, mm-hmm. that's the first Multiple. issue that uh, that's the first issue that hits your mind. Then you have a big problem that cannot be solved. <laughs> then you'll have to look for a, a lady who is lower than you. Uh-huh. Is that what you want? Because here we are saying you started with a lady that maybe you are higher than the lady when you started. Yeah. Then as luck has it, mm. her ways open up. Now will you divorce because well, now yeah, he has you money? You follower. Yes. <laughs> you don't follow, but you still remain, you know? Yeah, if she she's settled and she's tolerant, yeah. she forgives, mm. she'll understand and take your weaker point to make it yeah. stronger. Yeah, build yeah. on that. Mm. She'll build on that, she'll pet you. You also pet her. You don't throw tantrums every time she, something crops up because you have money. Mm. And she also does not throw <laughs> tantrums. <laughs> if those things come in, you know that marriage is going down. Yeah. But, but you know, the, you leave it the, um, the, uh, the notion that I've heard from people mm. is that, uh, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, mm. that uh, when a lady helps you, I've heard that from my friends, mm. that when a lady helps you, she will always be telling you, like even telling her friends, ah, uyo, uyo ni limokota kama siya, but amecha kazi. So those are the characteristics <laughs> that you were talking about. Yeah. Maybe she had those traits and you did not see. Yeah, true. Yeah, you did yeah. not realize. You are now realizing now that she has her money. Because yeah. as I told you earlier, ladies are cunning. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So maybe she she kept that in her cupboard. Her closet was closed. <laughs> now she opens it. Yeah. I know f- many families that the ladies have earned more than men and they, they yeah, don't quarrel. Yeah. They quarrel, they don't, she comes, they sit on the table, this is the money that we have, what do we do? Mm. If you do that, you'll never quarrel. This is what I have, mm. everybody, because you cannot, if you put all the money, you must leave pocket money for each of you. Mm. And depending with your class, the, the, how you relate, how you go out, you must leave something for each of you. So, and this is what we do. If you do that, you'll never quarrel, and you'll go far with very little money. True. So you just have to develop mm-hmm. with very little money mm-hmm. because you put it down. Because if you don't put it down at a city, every month you sit down and talk about your budget, mm-hmm. then you'll earn a lot of money in your house, but you'll never you don't grow. see any growth. You'll never develop mm-hmm. until you cause it Aisha, Amuna Kitu Sasa, and you held a lot of money. That's and people true. try, and usually it's men who break this. Mm-hmm. The experience has it that. It's men who breaks this because they want to keep so many women and use a lot of money out. 
then I'm advising you, yeah. can you come first at a sitting and use your pocket money out? Yeah. But take care of your family. First. Because this is where you remain. Yeah. When now the, the later years of the later years come, those friends outside will never be there. You'll remain in this home. True. Then you remain without any development, any source of income, then how will you be? Yeah, so you should just put your family first. Your family everything. first. In yeah. everything you do. True. Your wife, your children, if you have parents, mm. take care of them. If there are any siblings you are assisting, mm. take you care of your them. Level best. Yeah, do it the best you can. Yeah. Then you, Yako Yamfuko, you can you can do whatever you want whatever to do. Whatever you want with it yeah. out there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. then you will not have a quarrel. And that's nice. But I would request kindly for selflessness, tolerance, and at your lowest moments, mm. how does your spouse or your friend mm. come in? Is she or he castigating you mm. or helping you to come out of the problem? Is she only blaming you every now? It's because of your fault that you are in this situation. How is she or he handling your lowest moment? True. Then you'll be having a shoulder to lean on any time you have a problem. True. Yes. If you need that shoulder. Ah, that's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's those are the few questions we had. If you have any other questions, you can just reach out through my DM. Yeah, just reach out. And we'll be answering more and more of your questions, guys. So don't worry if you have not answered your question today. Yeah, next time, next time because you know uh, there are so many questions that pop up, and yeah, just have to do with what works at the moment. Yeah, as we go on. And thank you so much, uh, Mamushka, for uh, your words and for your piece, pieces of advice. And yeah, it's been amazing. I hope you guys have learned something. Yeah, I hope you have learned something on this video. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, and bye bye. Bye. Till next time. Hasta la vista.